everyone we are back again with another very nice job posting and this is a lily intern opportunity for life sciences and again it's an online application process so let's take a look at how eligible you are to apply for this internship a bit about the company la lily or lily was founded around 145 years ago and it is an american pharmaceutical company so right now in Bengaluru, they are looking for an intern for the clinical surveillance scientist department or division. So let's take a look at the purpose. The Global Patient Safety Organization is responsible for delivering scientific, medical and pharmacovigilance expertise in support of Lily's products in development as well as for marketed medicines and devices globally. So the clinical surveillance scientist leverages clinical and scientific expertise to lead the detection of safety signals, evaluation of safety data, assessment of safety risks, responses to regulatory inquiries, and regulatory required periodic reporting. In this role, you will apply effective prioritization, critical thinking, and judgment-based decision-making to execute these key deliverables in compliance with global regulations and internal processes. Effective communication and influence with internal and external stakeholders is an important capability for this role. So what are your responsibilities? So beginning with signal detection and safety data evaluation. So identification, analysis and evaluation of safety signals that arise from multiple internal and external data sources to determine signals or risks that could result in changes to labels and or benefit risk profile and consult and collaborate with other safety personnel as appropriate. Develop and review label changes and labeling modification in collaborations with teams. Apply effective communication skills to lead and facilitate safety team meetings for compounds in clinical development and marketed products. Define data acquisition strategy, methodology and approach for safety evaluations. Collaborate with safety physicians, medical directors, pharmacoepidemiologists, etc. Communicate relevant safety information to the core team, business partners and key stakeholders in a timely manner. Apply judgment-based decision-making principles. Apart from this, you also have risk assessment, regulatory inquiries and periodic reporting. So support analysis of safety data and author relevant safety section of global regulatory inquiries and periodic reports. Provide input to safety communications in the form of labeling, medical information inquiries and healthcare professional letters. So you also have to promote and advance the field of pharmacovigilance. So you'll be responsible for effective communication and influence with internal Lilly customers and external stakeholders. Effectively function and communicate as part of inclusive cross-functional teams. Demonstrate and apply pharmacovigilance knowledge to ensure compliance with local laws and regulations. Adhere to requirements in quality system documents and process improvement initiatives to ensure compliance with local laws and regulations. So what are the minimal qualification requirements? So a master's degree in healthcare related or life sciences and additional preferences are Clinical knowledge of various disease states, drug effects, human physiology and pharmacology. Demonstrated understanding of pharmacovigilance is preferred and demonstrated ability to manage multiple deliverables simultaneously. So an MSc in life sciences is what you need, which is the minimum qualification requirement for this intern position. So how do you apply for this? This is an online application process so the link to apply online is given on this page and this page is also linked in the description box i hope you've noticed that they stressed on communication skills so that brings me to the jap program that biotechnica provides which is job assistance program with placement assistance and interview guarantee so this is a program which will help you in networking drafting your resumes how to write your research proposals help you in your mock interviews, also personal interviews and soft skills. So all of these communication capabilities come under soft skills. So if you want to develop all of this, you can definitely enroll for the JAP program that Biotechnica offers, the link for which is given in the description box. So if you like this video, leave a like and let us know in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. You follow us on all of our social media and on Telegram because that is the easiest place where we can communicate with you first. So 
like this video turn on post notifications and yes we'll see you in the next one all the best